Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Happy Friday. Hi, guys. It's Friday. We made it to the weekend. Look at God. God is awesome. God is amazing. Hallelujah. We just give God all the praise, glory, and honor. Hallelujah. Because he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He's worthy of our honor. Hallelujah. He's worthy of our exaltation. Hallelujah. He's worthy of our kisses in the name of Jesus. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Because he is God all by himself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to another day. Hallelujah. Another day. Hallelujah. I'm your minister, Queen Asia, and this is my ministry, Beauty for Ashes, Kingdom of Heaven, Royal Ministries. I pray you got, I pray that you guys are having a blessed morning. Hallelujah. A blessed afternoon. And I pray that you will have a blessed and a and a beautiful weekend. A weekend full of excitement. A, full of expectation, full of miracles and wonders. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something, y'all, because the enemy has lost the battle. Hallelujah. And we have won. We have the victory. But let me tell y'all, the enemy is still trying to throw those fiery darts at us. Hallelujah. He's still trying to frustrate the body of Christ, but we ain't giving the devil no leeway. Don't give the devil any leeway. Do not allow him to penetrate your mind in any way. Hallelujah. Because he is going to try to do and anything he can do to throw you off course because he can't stop the blessing. He can't stop the healing. He can't stop the increase. He can't stop the overflow. He can't stop the abundance. No, he can't. He can't stop the kingdom destiny that God has for your life. Hallelujah. And he knows he can't stop it. But what he going to do, he going to try to agitate agitate you. That's what he's going to try to do. He's going to try to frustrate you in the name of Jesus. He's going to try to, you know, get you in some type of mode to try to, you know, but we ain't giving the devil no play over here. Hallelujah. We binding and rebuking that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we speak in life over our situation. We speak in life over our circumstances. Hallelujah. We speak in life. Hallelujah. And we speak in the word of God because we know, hallelujah, that the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. And that God is truth. Hallelujah. So every word that God has already spoken over your life, you better believe that is what it is. Hallelujah. And the devil can't do nothing about it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to remember that's the father of lies. So understand anything he telling you, hallelujah, is definitely the opposite. Hallelujah. Unless you are not walking, hallelujah, in full obedience and hallelujah and in full commandments of the word of God, then, then he might get some leeway into your life. But if you know, hallelujah, that you've been doing the right thing, hallelujah, you've been living righteously, you've been living in obedience and you have been following his laws, his statutes, and his, his commandments, hallelujah, and you have changed your life, hallelujah, in your lifestyle, know that you are under the covering of God, hallelujah, and the enemy can't do nothing to you. He gonna try, hallelujah, but no weapon formed against us shall prosper, hallelujah. Every tongue that rises against up against us in judgment shall be condemned. Hallelujah. Because God has taken care of us. Hallelujah. Because we are the inheritance of God and the righteousness of God. Okay. He is our righteousness in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is because of him. Hallelujah. That we are going to excel. Hallelujah. See, the enemy is mad. He is mad that you are in your season of manifestation. He mad that you are in your season of restoration. He mad that you are in your season of multiplication. Hallelujah. But we're going to keep speaking it. We're going to keep declaring, decreeing, hallelujah, and claiming it and believing it by faith, hallelujah, that you will excel, that you will um, accelerate, hallelujah, in your kingdom purpose, hallelujah, that you are living in the season of manifestation. You are living in your season, hallelujah, of destiny fulfillment, hallelujah. You are living in your season of healing, hallelujah. You are living in your season, hallelujah, of multiplication. You are living in your season, hallelujah, of exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think, hallelujah. We are in our season and the enemy is mad. So he just going to try to frustrate you, hallelujah. He going to try to do certain little things, hallelujah, to get you, you know, to get you speaking things that is not 
what God wants you to speak. So we're going to keep speaking life into our situation. We're going to keep speaking life into our circumstances. We're going to keep speaking the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We just thank God. Hallelujah. For his favor. Hallelujah. We thank God for his grace and his mercy over our life. And we thank God. Hallelujah. That he is faithful to his promise. Hallelujah. He is faithful to his children. He is faithful to those. Hallelujah. Who trust in him. Hallelujah. And don't lean to our own understanding, but in all our ways, we acknowledge it. We acknowledge him and he will direct our path. Hallelujah. Because we know how you cut it out of the in the word of God in Matthew four, hallelujah. Verse, um, three, three and four, it says man should not live by bread alone. Hallelujah. But I, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it since I'm quoting the scripture. Hallelujah. Matthew 4, verse 3. Hallelujah. No, verse 4. Hallelujah. And it says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah. So we are not living. Hallelujah by just the bread, hallelujah, that we eat, hallelujah. We are not just living, hallelujah, by the fat finances that we make, hallelujah, in our jobs or in our careers, but we are living by the word of God. We are living by the promise of God. We are living by the word that he has already spoken over our life, hallelujah. So what the enemy think he gonna bring into you, understand it will not prosper. It will not prosper. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So I want you guys to stay encouraged. Hallelujah. I want you guys to give God the praise. Keep praising God. Keep worshiping God. Keep giving God the thank yous. Hallelujah. Just let God know. Hallelujah. No matter what it looked like, hallelujah, Lord, my eyes is on you. See, we shouldn't even be able to see what the enemy doing, hallelujah, because we got we to gotta focus, hallelujah. We got a strict focus. We are disciplined, hallelujah. The enemy, he going to try to agitate. See, that's why he try to agitate you and frustrate you because he, he know you ain't paying him no attention. So he going to try to do things to try to get you to pay him some attention. But guess what? He can't afford your attention. Hallelujah. The price that we done paid, hallelujah. The price that Jesus Christ done paid for us, hallelujah. The devil can't afford it. He can't afford your attention. He can't afford your energy. Hallelujah. So you can't give it to him. Hallelujah. But we give all our praise and our glory to our father, God. Hallelujah. That's who our eyes are on. Hallelujah. Because we know he has already taken care of us. He has already taken care of each and every situation concerning your life. Hallelujah. Concerning your family. Hallelujah. Concerning your health. Hallelujah. Concerning your finances. Concerning your career. Concerning everything about you. God said, it is already done in the name of Jesus. Just keep your eyes on him. Just keep your eyes focused on him. Hallelujah. And continue to give him praise, glory, and honor. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. For your fire light anointing. Hallelujah. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every last one of you. Hallelujah. I'm going to come out the book of second Corinthians. Hallelujah. And I'm going to read this, um, chapter four to you. I believe it's yeah. Second Corinthians chapter four. Hallelujah. As I was as I was in prayer last night in the name of Jesus, this is the word that the Lord dropped in my spirit. Hallelujah. So I just want to give you this word. Hallelujah. So that you can meditate on it so that you can be encouraged. Hallelujah. And so that it could um, speak into your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're going to come out the book of second Corinthians chapter four. Hallelujah. And the word of God reads, praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Father God, we just thank you for your word on today, Father God. We thank you for the bread of life, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that everything that you have already spoken over our life, Father God, that it is done, Lord God. And we thank you for the season of manifestation, Father God. We just lift you up today, Lord God. As I decrease, I pray that your Holy Spirit increase in me, Father God. I'm your eyes, your ears, your vessel, Father God, your servant, your child, Lord God, to do the will of 
to do your will, Father God. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one that hears this message, Lord God, that they will receive it, Lord God, in their hearts, Lord God, that it will saturate their minds, Father God, and that they will be changed by the blood of Jesus, Lord God, and that they will receive our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as their Lord and Savior, Lord God. And we thank you, Father God, for the new, Father God, for the new beginnings, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Okay, so I'm coming out the book of 2 Corinthians. Corinthians chapter 4, and the word of God reads, Therefore, seeing we have this, I'm going to read it again. <laughs> Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received, received mercy, we faint not, hallelujah, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's co conscience in the sight of God. Praise the Lord. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Hallelujah. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Hallelujah. And verse 5. For we preach not ourselves. For we preach not ourselves but Christ Jesus, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Jesus' sake. Hallelujah. So what the apostle is saying right here, hallelujah, that we have received the ministry of Christ. Hallelujah. We have received the word of God. Hallelujah. We have received the hidden things. Hallelujah. That the flesh can't see, hallelujah, that the eyes of the flesh can't see and that those who are lost, hallelujah, and that those who are caught up in this world, they don't receive it, hallelujah, because they have been blinded, hallelujah, by the enemy, hallelujah, which is the devil, hallelujah. But we, hallelujah, as believers receive the word, we receive the ministry of Christ, hallelujah, and we have obtained, hallelujah, the blessing of that, hallelujah, because we believed on the word of God in the name of Jesus. And so verse um, six, I'm gonna read verse six again. It says, for God who commanded the light, oh no, I'm gonna read verse um, five again into verse six. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus, the Lord and ourselves, your servants, for Jesus' sake. Hallelujah. So we are the, the servants of God in the name of Jesus because we have received his word and we believed it. Hallelujah. So therefore, we have become servants of the, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the word of God reads in verse 6, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But we have this treasure in earthing vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Hallelujah. So we have received the power, hallelujah, of God. Hallelujah. And it's not of ourselves because this is not our work at all. This is the work of God. Hallelujah. But it shows through us, hallelujah. It shows through us as we go out, hallelujah, and confess our Lord Jesus Christ, as we go out, hallelujah, and minister the word of God to others, hallelujah. That light that the Lord has shined, hallelujah, is now shining in us, hallelujah. And that's why we are the light of the world, hallelujah. And verse seven reads, I'm gonna read it again. But we have this treasure in earthing vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not ourselves. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, yet, I'm sorry, I'm gonna read that again, verse eight. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. 
persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Hallelujah. See, these are the things that the enemy try to bring up against us. Hallelujah. Even though what the, what the apostle Paul says, even though we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. Hallelujah. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted but not forsaken. Hallelujah. We are cast down, but not destroyed in the name of Jesus. In verse 10, always bearing about in the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our bodies. Hallelujah. For we which live are always delivered unto death. For Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our more mortal flesh. Hallelujah. So the life of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, will manifest in our mortal life. Hallelujah. His spiritual life is going to manifest to us in the mortal life. Hallelujah. And so verse, um, so I'm going to read that again. I'm going to read verse um, 11 again. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal bodies. Hallelujah. So even though we are dying, the flesh is dying, our spirit man is living. Hallelujah. And our spirit man, hallelujah, is now also taking over our mortal fleshly life. Hallelujah. And this is why we are going to be able to live eternally. Hallelujah. Once we are, once that time comes, hallelujah, and judge, judgment day comes, hallelujah, and we receive, hallelujah, our new body, hallelujah. We receive the new heaven and the new earth, hallelujah. But right now, even as we are living today, our mortal bodies is receiving everlasting life through Jesus Christ, hallelujah, because his life is in us and our life is in him in the name of Jesus. So verse um, so verse 12 reads, so then death worketh in us, but life in you. We have, we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Hallelujah. So what the apostle, what the apostle is saying is he believed. So he has spoken what he believed and what he know is true. Hallelujah. And we believe it. And so we speak it. Hallelujah. Cause we know it's true in the name of Jesus. So verse 14 reads, knowing that he, which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. Hallelujah. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might, I'm sorry, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. Hallelujah. And verse 16 reads, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Praise the Lord. In verse 17, for our light, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, hallelujah, worketh for us a far more exceeding in eternal weight of glory. Hallelujah. So what the apostle is saying, hallelujah. So our affliction that we are going through in this earth, hallelujah, is only for a moment, hallelujah, because what we gain, hallelujah, is more, is beyond and more abundant, hallelujah, and more exceeding and more glorious than our afflictions that we might have to face, hallelujah, the promise, hallelujah, the blessing, hallelujah, the healing, hallelujah, the favor, hallelujah, the increase, hallelujah, hallelujah, it's more, hallelujah, it says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, 
worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Hallelujah. So those afflictions, hallelujah, hallelujah, it's not going to outweigh, hallelujah, the blessing. It's not going to outweigh the promise. Hallelujah. It's not going to outweigh the inheritance in the name of Jesus. It's not going to outweigh the favor. Hallelujah. It's not going to outweigh your restoration in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So verse 18, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Keep your eyes on the things that are eternal. Hallelujah. Don't put your eyes on the momentary things. Don't put your eyes on the things that's happening to you right now. Hallelujah. Because that is just for a moment. That is just temporary. Temporary. Hallelujah. But it's the things that's eternal. The things that's going to last last. Hallelujah. The things of the spirit, the word of God, what God has spoken over your life. That is what's going to last. That is what we look to. That is what our faith is in. And that is what our hope is in. And because we have that, hallelujah, we wait on the Lord with expectancy. We wait on the Lord with excitement. We wait on the Lord knowing that he will perform and fulfill every promise that he has spoken over our life in the mighty name of Jesus. You guys be blessed. I love you so much. I'm your minister, Queen Asia. Remember to all my YouTubers to like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button also. Hallelujah. You can leave me an email. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus for prayer requests, motivational speaking in the name of Jesus. And to all my YouTube, my Facebook family. Hallelujah. Thank you for supporting me, hallelujah, and continue to like, share, hallelujah, and leave a comment, hallelujah, and God willing, I will see you guys sooner than later. Be blessed and have a blessed weekend, hallelujah, and may the blessings of the Lord just continue to pour out over your life in the name of Jesus. I love you guys, and I will see you sooner than later. God will. Mwah.